Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of the Weekly Contest 297, Fair Distribution of Cookies. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know how, you know, you, you attack this farm and, yeah, uh, let me know if your cookies were delicious and fair. Anyway, for this farm, the first thing that we should do is look at the constraints again. Um, I, you know, I talk about this a lot during content uh, in general, and you can see that, oops, that uh, cookie's length is eight and K is equal to length eight. That means that in theory, uh, you, you know, th th this basically sets the basis of what I want to do, which is dynamic programming. I've heard that uh, eight to the eight also works if you if you do it way intelligently, but I'm not I'm not sure. So definitely check that out. But but yeah. Um, so here, the, the, I, the, uh, it's kind of tricky to explain because I use Bitmask. Um, what is Bitmask, right? So I'm going to do a two-minute intro. Um, skip ahead if you don't want it. But basically, a Bitmask is that base, I, I have a Boolean array uh, of up to, in this case, up to eight elements, right? So here, this is a Boolean array. Uh, and then now I convert this Boolean array to, to zeros and ones, right? Now this is an int array, and then we just convert this to a number because this is you could think about this as a binary number, and this is I don't know, depending on how which way you go, but I guess this is a two, right? So this is just number two, bin mask. That's really the the idea behind a bin mask. Uh, in terms of using it, there are things with like bitwise operations. You can look it up on the internet, or I think some of my other videos have it. But I wanted to focus on the other parts of this problem, so I'm not going to go over bit mask that much. But whenever you see the bit mask, I'm going to talk about it in this way, which is that think about it as a Boolean array, but in a compressed way. So that there's some nice properties with it, but that's basically the idea. Um, cool. Uh, but basically, given that we have n cookies, first, the first thing I do is is pre-calculate the cookie cost. This just allowed me to save uh, an O of N time later on, as you will see. Um, it makes it like eight times faster, which for me is pretty good. But basically here is, is the critical component of, okay, so what this part does is it looks at, every, this is what we call the power set, right? So look, power set. So look it up if you, if you want to, um, at this point, I'm not going to go over it too much. Like I said, I hope that you have a foundation in Bitmask before doing it. But basically, this is a power set. And this is basically just going, okay. In this mask is the if uh, slot true or false, right? So that's basically the idea here, right? And if it's true, we add, that means that we use this cookie and then we add the cost. And this just basically let, let us fetch okay so given that we want to use these cookies how much does it cost before you would have to do a loop to sum it up now you can do it all at one time because we already did it that's what the pre-processing is doing pre-processing the cookie co uh cookies total cost almost like a prefix sum but bit mass sum if you will i don't know if that's the term so don't you know don't get me on it but and here are the states right the states is Given that we already given cookies to um, index number of children and that mask cookies are eaten or given, maybe. I don't know if they, they I guess you don't always have to eat the cookies, but I always eat my cookies, all right? So if you, if I have fans out there and you want to give me cookies, I will eat them. Okay. Anyway. Uh, what is the so the the DP question I'm asking here is what is the max um, the max number of cookies by the remaining children right so that's basically the DP question I have here right and of course I kick it off by saying uh, I have all the cookies still starting with the first child, which is index zero, right? Okay, so then now this is basically, if we have no child left, I think, 
Actually, I think I have a bug here, but it is not a bug that matters because of greedy principle. And I'll talk about it in a second. I just noticed this, so which is kind of yikes, but eh, I don't think it, so it cannot change the answer. Um, but see if you could spot it while I'm doing this. But yeah, this is if we have no child, no children left, what happens? This is just a base case. If we ate all the cookies, good. That means that the remaining will be zero. Otherwise, we have we have cookies left over. This is not a possible situation. So just set infinity, right? That's basically the idea. And now we have the highest as infinity. And then we set the current mask. And this is actually, um, you could do it another way as well. But this is actually, a, I would say an, uh, for bit mask, it's the, it's the intermediate slash maybe advanced. And BitMask doesn't go that hard in difficulty. So when I say it's friends, I don't mean that it's hard. But this is the 3 to the 8 uh, uh, set inclusion technique. You don't need this, I don't think. It will just make the complexity a little bit different. We'll talk about it in a little bit. But given that the current is the Boolean BitMask that we want the current kid to have, current child to have, have, right? So basically current is, so current could look like, you know, zero, one, zero, something like that, right? And base, basically this is saying in that current, uh, the current child will eat the second, third, fourth cookie, right? So that's basically the idea here. Um, again, bit mass stuff. And what happens when you eat it, right? Well. The, the distribution of the rest will just be the max of the recursion of the remaining cookies. And this is how you do the, the remaining cookies uh, and having the next child or total subcurrent, meaning that this current child ate all these cookies. That's how much, uh, you know, take the max of these two will be, you know, because ba basically you can figure it as uh, max of, ma if you try to max between five items, you can do it uh, distributively, right? You know, the, the brackets doesn't matter. The com it's also commutative and stuff like this. But 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 that's why I'm able to do it this way is that I go, okay, I eat all these cookies now or the current child eat all these cookies now and that's how much, uh, how many cookies they ate and or the max is in the other half that we took. And then after these, so this is the cost of or this is the cost of eating these current cookies, the best cost that we can find. So then we min it with the highest because we're trying to minimize this, right? So yeah, and then this is just going to the next thing. Um, yeah. So what is the cost of this dynamic programming? Well, the way that we, you know, total time cost is you go to uh, total inputs, total number of inputs times uh, time per input, right? And as a result, mask, the, so what is the number of inputs? Well, mask, there is two to the eight possible inputs. And of course, this is the power set. And index is just K, uh, K, K kids left, right? K, K children, so zero to K. Um, so that is the total number of inputs. Time per input, right? What is that? Well, I'm going to hand wave this a little bit, but this is going to end up being 3 to the 8 times k as a result. Cause, but let's say you wrote it more naively, right? Let's say this is going to be 2 to the 8 because then now you have another bit mask of uh, trying all possible uh, cookies that this children ate. So uh, each input takes O of 2 to the 8 time. So then now total time will be O of 4 to the 8 times K, right? Uh, and of course, this is 4 to the N if you want to write N it being the number of cookies. Um, and total space, of course, is the same idea. You have 2 to the N times K, number of possible inputs. And each of them, are obviously, you just store it one number, so that's going to be O of 1. So yeah, so that's the total time and total space. Um, cool. That's pretty much all I have with this one. Um, I do recommend looking this up. Uh, I 
yeah, I think I would just look up something like three to the end pop uh, bit mass technique or something like that on Google, and you'll be able to find it. Um, I, I'm, I'm not gonna go over this, how this work here, but that's one of these things that I made it slightly faster. But yeah, uh, cool. That's pretty much all I have. I'm gonna show the beginning again, because I wrote a lot of stuff, and then the end. Uh, cool. Let me know what you think. Uh, stay good, stay healthy. To, oh, no, wait. Uh, what I mean is, you could watch me solve it live in the contest now. And I actually solved this faster than Q2, so. Yeah. We've gotten Q3 already, so I'm a problem behind. <clears throat> Only eight, That's an open watch though. So make sure I get it right. This and uh, the sum of this. this
Mm, that's not great. We have to use order cookies, Larry. Let's see if it's fast enough. Kind of this. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem or this problem. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye bye.